Good morning, Michael. Well, I think we've got to separate the two issues from the four-year term issue to the fixed term issue. And I think the big problem in our democracy is not the length of the term so much, but they're not fixed. Uh, that allows the Prime Minister to call elections when suits them politically and to basically finagle election timing. Um, the Australian Institute's done the calculations and we work out that the average length of a term hasn't been three years, it's been 2.59 years since 1910. That's 16 and a half years lost of governing, 6,000 days of governing time, if you like, lost. But it's not because we haven't got four year terms, it's because we haven't got three year terms. And simply by fixing it at three years, we get ourselves a longer term, be good for democracy, it would stop the Prime Minister being able to pick and choose election dates and manipulate election timing, it would be better for governing, wouldn't waste so much time about when an election's going to be. And here's the great thing, we could effectively do it without a referendum. Um, going to fix four-year terms would require a, a referendum, would um, cause the difficulties about whether to have a four-year Senate term or, or, or an eight-year Senate <coughs> term. It's the fixing of the terms that's the real issue rather than the length of them. Okay.